Good afternoon, friends. I hope you're all doing well. I've been out here in the shop this morning just trying to get the place cleaned up. Um, and of course, as the afternoon rolled around, I kind of got the urge to continue working on the Everest. So I think we're going to try and at least get started on, if not, maybe knock out something for the seat. Um, I do have a seat here. I don't believe it's the original one. I think this is probably off of a blizzard or something similar. Um, maybe even just like a citation. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Um, I think the Everest was originally a two-up, and this is not a two-up seat. Um, so I don't think it's the original seat. But the important thing is that the front of it is going to fit the contour of the gas tank. Um, so what I'm thinking is we're going to try and make something that would be a little bit shorter, kind of like what you'd see on like an XP chassis or an IQR or something like that. Um, so I think we're only going to be using it from about here forward, um, which should be more than enough for my ass to sit on. Yeah, I think that's what we're going to end up doing. Uh, we'll just have to strip um, the old cracked up vinyl off that's on here and then we'll end up, I don't know, I'll, I'll probably order something. And I've made seat covers before. Um, I had an old uh, jet ski that I redid the seat on and that turned out pretty well. I think it was just like marine grade vinyl or something like that. But I think we're going to end up going that route and you know we'll just use what's left here for a frame and see what we can make out of it. Um, I think that's going to be a little bit more fun, a little bit more interesting than just trying to retrofit something off of a newer sled. So we'll uh, get going and see what we can do. All right, so I think the smart thing to do here is going to be try and get the old seat cover off um, as much intact as I can. Um, I was just going to start ripping and tearing and try to cut it off, but I think if I can get it off in one piece, I'll be able to use um, at least part of it as a template to cut out um, the new material from and then that way you know it'll be a lot less guesswork involved um, when I try and recover what's here um, from the way this feels I think I'll actually even be able to reuse the foam that's in it so I guess we'll just get it off of here and see what it looks like That's what we're going to use for a seat for now. I don't know if it's going to be permanent or not. We'll have to see what it looks like once I upholster it. Um, I ordered some marine grade vinyl off of Amazon in sunshine yellow. Um, so when that gets here, we will wrap it and see how it looks. Uh, it's managed to save, <clears throat> save a good deal of the pan. Um, there's a small chunk missing from the opposite side. That plastic's pretty brittle now, um, but I think we can still get away with using it. And we'll just have to cut a small chunk of plywood um, to fill in the gap there where the seat ends, or the, the seat foam ends and the pan ends. Um, and then we'll just kind of bolt that in place and then we'll actually be able to secure that down um, to the tunnel. So yeah, there's not too much more we can do with that until uh, the fabric shows up and we can get that upholstered, Well, which isn't really a big deal because um, that seat foam is just absolutely soaked from sitting outside for the majority of the winter. Um, so that's kind of drying out. So as you can see from the snow on the floor, I just brought this thing back inside from a ride in the yard. And uh, we encountered our first point of failure there with the drop brackets. Um, for whatever reason, probably just because I'm fat, um, we sheared the rivets off that were holding the brackets to the tunnel. So I think what we're going to do is just drill those holes out and um, probably just bolt it in there with quarter inch bolts. And then that way we know it's not going to come out. Uh, no damage done or anything like that. Just sheared the rivets off and, and the brackets just came off from the tunnel. Um, but as I was riding it around, I started, started hearing what sounded like ratcheting. Could have been ratcheting, um, but I honestly think it was just the track hitting the tunnel. Um, so I brought her back inside and 
I was trying to inspect and see what went wrong and just lift it up on the back end and the brackets fell off and it was like, oh, yeah, well, that's what happened. But other than that, she's running good. Rides good. Um, the rear ride's awesome, actually. Um, as I'm riding it around more, I think, you know, I, I don't know if I'm going to adjust it or not. We'll, we'll have to, uh, I guess, put a few more miles on it and see what it's going to do. But so far, it seems like it's actually set up pretty decent. And the main problem we have is just with the front, um, which we kind of suspected. Uh, leaving the old leaf spring setup on there. I still think at some point we're going to convert it over to probably some sort of trailing arm setup. I don't think we can go straight A-arms. Um, maybe it could be done, but um, it's going to take some thought on my part, or if you guys have any suggestions, feel free to let me know. But I'm thinking uh, some sort of ADSA trailing arm setup would be good, probably off of the same year ZX chassis, if I can find one. That would be nice. Uh, but other than that, just been doing a few other things off camera. Um, got kind of silly last night and just decided to shine up the hood, cleaned it up, and uh, ended up just waxing it, and that turned out halfway decent. Got some uh, some some shine left in it. Oh, what else did we do? Oh, we had to replace the uh, hinge on the hood. So I'll open it up and show you guys. But I took the bracket off of the inside, uh, cleaned it up and then primed it, painted it, and then we actually have a brass door hinge from good old Menards in there as our hood hinge. And that's actually working pretty slick. So the fiberglass in the hood by the hinge is actually cracked pretty bad. Um, that piece is on the verge of coming out, so I should try and do something with that in the future, um, but I think that's gonna be a project for this summer when I'm pretty bored. I do still need to get um, some hood latches for it. Right now I just have it held in there with zip ties. Um, the remainder of what was in there was rotted pretty bad, uh, so I just ripped them out. And I can't find those on the internet anywhere either. Um, I found something close for a Polaris, um, and I'm thinking I'm just gonna order those, because they should work just fine. Um, otherwise, we'll just keep using zip ties for now. But I think that's kinda gonna be it for today. Uh, I'm gonna clean things up out here and then I'll get back with you guys once I have um, some fabric for that seat and we're working on that again. It is Friday afternoon once again. The mailman was good to us this week, brought us a bunch of presents. Let's check them out. Well, we got ourselves an air cleaner, 62 millimeter ID, I believe. Should be good enough to keep the large stuff out of the carburetor anyway. A uh, brand new set of fly handlebars, Scott grips to go with the bars, uh, throttle cable extension, and a set of eight inch fixed risers. I'm um, sitting at about 6'4", so those are gonna be really nice to have. Uh, and then also picked up some stainless steel quarter inch hardware. Uh, like I said, we're just gonna bolt those drop brackets in place instead of messing around with the rivets, and that should solve that problem permanently. Also, we got our sunshine yellow vinyl. So if I can find my upholstery stapler, uh, we'll get going on that seat at some point this afternoon and try and get that knocked out as well. So let's get to work. All right, we got those brackets bolted in. Those should be nice and solid now. I guess we'll move on and do some of the easier stuff here, the simpler stuff, get that done and out of the way. Uh, we'll go ahead and throw that air filter on next, I think, and then start taking a look at the bars. It's a pretty solid way to open your hood. Well, that just screams performance. It's totally gonna to be worth the $3 I paid for it. I have no idea how the controls are held on here. I kind of assume they'd be just like any other motorcycle or four wheeler or anything where, you know, there's like pinch bolts that hold them to the bars, but that does not seem to be the case here. It almost seems like it's just some kind of a friction fit. Maybe they're glued in place. I don't know. Uh, that's kind of going to put a damper on things though, because I thought I was going to be able to reuse these with the new bars, but that might not be the case. Well, I guess that's my answer. Apparently they're pinned on.
Well, I'm not super excited about having to drill a couple of holes in that new set of handlebars, but I mean, they weren't super expensive. I think they're like 30 bucks or something like that. And if it uh, allows me to use the original controls, I guess for now I might as well. Alright, so I got a piece of one inch bar stock in the lathe right now. We're going to turn that down to 7 eighths and then use that uh, on the bottom clamp for the handlebars as the attachment piece for the risers. So we're sitting just over 7 eighths right now. I left it a little bit oversized just so there'd be um, a little more to bite onto with clamps. Um, I also ran the auto feed a little bit quick to leave a bit of a rougher finish. Um, again, just so there's something to bite onto. I don't have a knurling attachment for the lathe yet. If I did, that'd be ideal, but I don't. So this is the route we're gonna go. Um, I'm just gonna clean up the ends real quick. We'll cut that off and get it clamped in. So we got risers and bars. Those were kind of a pain in the ass to get installed, not gonna lie. Um, and I got some more work to do with them yet, just getting them um, tightened down all the way and kind of aligned properly. But we're close, we're getting there. Um, I think I'm gonna take that bottom piece back out and actually take it all the way down to 7 eighths. I thought it'd be a good idea to leave it oversized, but um, I don't know, if you get in here real close, you can see that there's a little bit of a gap between uh, the bar and the clamp. Um, so I think if we take that all the way down to 7 eighths, we'll have the full surface area uh, of the clamp contacting the bar and I think that will be uh, better. Probably should have just did that right away from the start, but you know, for some reason I thought it'd be better to oversize it, but guess not. So I think we'll do that right away in the morning. Uh, getting kind of dark out now, I'm gonna head inside pretty quick, but I'm um, happy with the way this turned out so far. I think that looks pretty cool. Uh, I hopped up there and it's actually like the perfect height for me. Um, I can stand straight up and still reach the bars and it looks like i'm actually going to have enough um enough brake cable and enough throttle cable without the extensions uh, to just pop those um, original controls back on the bars like i said the only thing that's going to suck about that is having to drill holes um, into the bars to pin those controls but i mean gotta do what you gotta do i guess um, if that's the way it was designed then we'll just do it and deal with it. When I go inside, I'm gonna look for my stapler. Hopefully I can find it. And then tomorrow too, we will get going on upholstering that seat. I'll see you guys in the morning. Wanna be the best in the game, invest in my name Check no restraints, I'm obsessed with the pain I ingest, I retain, assess and I change Possessed by the thought I'll be free one day From society's restraints, money, clout and fame Mud disease, a plague, we all love to hate Have to play the game, have to make a name All our insecurities are on this display This is war with the enemy Think that it was meant to be Living in a time where disease is on every screen I won't let them fester me I know most are festering Negativity is a plague for the mentally weak No mercy, all I God is working, never stop searching, never quench the thirsty I'm toxic and psychotic with this logic, you can't stop it It's been chronic since I was a boy, so neurotic and chaotic Go! to last with the webs I'm weaving I could change the past with all I'm achieving Got my foot on gas, never stop competing If you break like glass, then this life's gonna eat them Make mistakes real fast, then you learn how to beat them if you take off the cast, you can see all the healing If the pain's in the past, move on from the grave And put your foot on the gas, no, never stop competing, yeah I've been doing this 
I'm on it I just wanna be iconic Sippin' on a gin and tonic Got me going off when I'm on this topic, yeah If I ever play, I want it You know that I'm always honest Stay away from those who are toxic Keep by your face, no way you don't want it, yeah. Don't try to drain my energy The enemy is everything It's mentally unhealthily Spreading like a rare disease But I won't let it get to me I don't need your therapy I can leave a legacy of leading by intensity Come on, we can fight this Freedom is priceless Spread just like a virus Living in a crisis Do you feel courageous? Do you seek greatness? Trust me, you can take it Go on and take your aim man. I was built to last with the webs I'm weaving I could change the past with all I'm achieving Got my foot on gas, never stop competing If you break the glass, then this life's gonna eat it Make mistakes real fast, then you learn how to beat them If you take off the gas, you can see all the healing If the pain's in the past, move on from the grave Put your foot on the gas, no, never stop competing bars um, not too bad to install uh, the worst part was with the knurling on the bars and then the two-piece aluminum spacers um, so if you went with like whatever it is I think a one inch bar you wouldn't need the spacers but um, if you go with the traditional like 7 8 bar then you need the uh, spacers up top um, so that made it a little bit difficult just to get everything lined up properly and then uh, snug down but all in all not too bad did get the throttle cable extension put in there I'm uh, still with the original throttle cable. Uh, the new one hasn't showed up yet, but once that gets here, we'll get that installed. Now that we're done with that, we're gonna start working on the seat. See if we can knock that out. Well, this is actually a chunk of wood uh, out of the camper, so we're even recycling, how about that? Um, length that I needed to extend the seat pan was seven and three eighths inches. So we'll go ahead and mark that out first. widest part we're going to be 16 and 7 eighths and the narrowest part we're going to be 15 and 3 eighths uh, so this sort of has to slide into the plastic seat pan and then we'll bolt it in there and that's going to be the narrower part um, but then it widens out to fit the full width of the tunnel um, on the part that's behind the pan so we'll get that marked out and then we should be able to cut this and bolt it in place
So that fits up pretty good. Uh, just gonna mark the holes for the bolts and get those drilled through and then we'll bolt that in place. Please tell me that I can't, that I won't, that I fail, that I'll never make it out, yeah Please tell me all the bad, never good, fill my head full of every single doubt, yeah Please say any negative thoughts, I pop off when I hear people say I cannot I get off to the thought of proving everyone wrong, I won't stop to the top, so you better back off, I get lost I'ma stay loud, stay proud, never running out, never heading south I'll be spreading out, call it word of mouth, can't put me down, I'll be getting loud You can never doubt, know what I'm about, have your fucking cloud, it be raining now I keep making sound, go another round, bitch I'm legend bound, can't stop me now you don't wanna fuck with me A slow burn like a disease Just tell me that I can and I'll show you things That you couldn't believe Just tell me that I can 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 Cause I just wanna hear it out your mouth, yeah Give me fuel, it's a tool that I use To go ahead and run my fucking mouth, yeah Well, it could've turned out better, but it Could've been worse, too For $15 for the material, I'll take it Good enough for now, we'll use it Say it's about time to wrap this one up I'm sure the video's getting pretty long, but uh, We got a lot done, happy to have The risers installed I did just take it out for a spin in the yard so much more comfortable with that extra height. Um, it's nice to be able to stand up and see what's in front of you um, with those leaf springs still on there. It's nice to know when the bumps are coming up. Um, but yeah, I think in the next video we're gonna load it up and head over to the property and have a go in some powder that's still untouched and see what it can really do. I'm looking forward to that. It might even be tomorrow, I don't know. It's Saturday afternoon now and I don't really have too much planned for tomorrow. Um, other than cleaning up my mess out here, so if uh, if the mood strikes, we might toss the bad boy onto a trailer and go for a little bit of a ride. So anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching. Appreciate you sticking around for the entire series. I guess we will see you in the next one.